Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about floating point representation using IEEE 754 double precision format in computer architecture course, computer organization course, computer organization and architecture course. Uh, this is the given example problem. Now we have to solve this problem. Uh, represent minus 29.5 base 10 in IEEE 754 double precision format using implicit normalization. Before solving this uh, problem, first of all, we have to know about IEEE 754 double precision format. This is the IEEE 754 double precision format. It consists of 64 bits starting with 0 and ending with 63. These total 64 bits can be divided into 3 fields. The first field can be called as mantissa that can be denoted by M. 50, 52 bits are allocated for mantissa starting with 0 and ending with 51. The second field can be called as exponent that can be denoted by capital E. 11 bits are allocated for exponent starting with 52 and ending with 62. Next, the third field can be called as sign field. Only one bit is allocated for sign bit starting with 62 and ending with 63. <coughs> These are the three fields in the 64 bit double precision format standardized by IEEE. Now, <coughs> there are uh, two types of normalizations we have to use in double precision format. First one is explicit normalization. Second one is implicit normalization. The formula for explicit normalization is minus 1 whole power s into 0 0.m into 2 power e minus by s where s is nothing but sign bit M is nothing but mantissa, E is nothing but bias the exponent and this is the bias value. Next, in the case of implicit normalization, <coughs> the formula is minus 1 whole power S into 1 point M into 2 power E minus bias. By comparing these two normalization formulas only the difference here in the case of explicit normalization 0 point m is there in the case of implicit normalization 1 point m is there the remaining things are similar among the two types of normalizations the default one is implicit normalization whether specified in the given problem or not by default, we have to use implicit normalization. Next one, how to find out the bias value? The formula for bias value is equal to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1, where n is nothing but number of bits allocated for exponent. How many bits are allocated for exponents? 11 bits. So that 2 power 11 minus 1 minus 1. So 2 power 10 minus 1. That is 1023. This is the bias value in double precision format. So once we are knowing these basic details. Now we can go for the problem. So the given decimal number is minus 29.5. The given decimal number is a negative number. So, how to represent the negative number in double precision format? So, by using sign bit. 
if sign bit value is equal to 0, it represents a positive floating point number. If the sign bit value is equal to 1, it represents a negative floating point number. Okay. So here the given decimal number is a negative decimal number so that we have to use sign bit value is equal to 1 in double precision format. So I am considering first sign bit. So sign bit value can be considered as 1 because the given decimal number is a but is a negative floating point number negative decimal floating point number okay so we are already find out the s value S value is 1 because the given decimal floating point number is a negative floating point number. Next, next we have to find out the this field mantis of field. To find out the mantis of field, first of all, we have to convert this uh, decimal number into equivalent binary number. How to convert this uh, <coughs> decimal number into equivalent binary number. So, by dividing the 29.5 into integer part and fractional part. So, integer part is 29 and the fractional part is 0 0.5. So, now take the integer part and find out the equivalent binary number by successively divided with 2. So, 2 14s, 28, remainder 1. This procedure you already know. 2 7s, remainder 0. 2 3s, remainder 1. 2 1s, remainder 1. 2 0s, remainder 1. Whenever the quotient value you are getting equal to 0. We have to stop the successively dividing with 2 and write the remainders from bottom to top. So, what is the value you are getting? 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Base 2. <coughs> this is the 29 binary equivalent is triple 1. 0 1. Now, how to convert this uh, fraction part into binary equivalent? So, if the fraction part can be multiplied with 2, whatever the value we are getting, from that value we have to separate the integer part. The remaining part can be multiplied with 2 until the remaining part getting 0. Already when we are separating 1, the remaining part is 0 so that we have to stop the multiplication process and write the remainders, write the integer parts from bottom, from top to bottom. So then what is the value we are getting? So 0 0.5 base 10 is equal to only 0 0.1. Whatever the value you are getting, that value can be written after the decimal point because we are taking only the fractional part. So that <coughs> now we have to combine both.
So this is the integer part binary equivalent. This is the fractional part binary equivalent. Now we have to combine them. So 29.5 base 10 is equal to triple 101.1. This is the binary equivalent. Now, <coughs> so now we have to use implicit normalization. In the case of implicit normalization, the decimal point is there after the MSB bit 1. After the MSB bit 1. Here, the decimal point is there here. Now, we have to move the decimal point towards left after the MSB bit 1. Okay, this is the MSB bit. So, to move the decimal point from this place to this place. How many places we have to move? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 places we have to move. So, that what is the value we are getting? 1.1101. 1 it is multiplied with 2 power 4 because we have to move the decimal point 4 places towards left from right. How many number of decimal places, decimal places we have to move the decimal point? 4 decimal places so that we have to multiply with 2 power 4. Now it is in the form of 1 point m into 2 power e minus by s. Clear? So it is in the form of 1 point m into 2 power e minus by s. In the place of m, what is here is there? So m is equal to, m is always a fraction number so that we have to write after the decimal point. So, what is there here? 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. This can be called as Mantisa. Mantisa value is, so this one is compared with this one. Whatever the uh, number after the decimal point, that number can be treated as Mantisa. Next, third one. Third one, we have to find out the exponent value. Now, this value is compared with the, this value. That is 2 power e minus by s is equal to 2 power 4. <coughs> so, these two things are we have to compare. Previously, this value and this value we have to compare. Now, this value and this value we have to compare. Here, <coughs> bases are equal, 10 powers are also equal. So, E minus by S is equal to 4. Now, what is the E value? E is equal to 4 plus by S. Already we know the by S value in double question format is 1023. So, 4 plus 1023 that is equal to 1027. <coughs> 1027. So, E value is equal to 1027. What is the binary equivalent of 1027? So, the nearest power is 2 power 10. What is the 2 power 10 value? 1024. What is the remaining value? Nearest power is 2 power 1. So, 1024 plus 2. What is the remaining value? Only 1. 1 means 2 power 0. So, that is equal to 1027. So, now, what is the <laughs> binary equivalent? We have to use the same procedure for 1027. 
so here i am writing 2 power 10 is there so that we have to write the value 1 2 power 9 missing so that we have to put 0 value 2 power 8 missing we have to use 0 value 2 power 7 missing we have to put 0 value 2 power 6 missing we have to put 0 value 2 power 5 missing we have to put 0 value 2 power 3 missing we have to put 0 value 2 power 2 missing we have to put 0 value 2 power 1 as it is there so that we have to put 1 value 2 power 0 as it is there we have to put 1 value Three, six, ten. So say this one. This is two power zero term. It is available so that we have to put one. Two power one. It is there so that we have to put one value. Two power two. It is not there. We have to put zero value. Two power three it is not there. We have to put zero value. 2 power 4 is not there, we have to put 0 value. 2 power 5 is not there, we have to put 0 value. 2 power 6 is not there, so that we have to put 0 value. 2 power 7 is not there, we have to put 0 value. 2 power 8 is not there, we have to put 0 value. 2 power 9 is not there, we have to put 0 value. 2 power 10 is there, so that we have to put 1 value. Only 2 power 10 is there, we have to put 1. Only 2 power 1 is there, we have to put 1. 2 power 0 is there, we have to put 1. The remaining are filled with a 0. So this is the <coughs> exponent value, biased exponent value. Now, we already know the S value. We already know the M value. We already know the E value. Now, it can be represented in double precision format. First, what is the sign bit value? Sign bit value is 1. So, 1 bit for sign bit. Next one, what is the exponent value? This is the exponent value. So, that is 11 bit. So, 1 3, 6, 8 zeros. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 1. This is total 11 bits. And the mantis are 52 bits. 52 bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 1. So, for that mantis, only you have to write this part. So, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Among the 52 bits, only 5 bits are there. The remaining 47 bits are filled with zeros. I am not writing 47 zeros. So, 3 zeros, etc. Zeros. Okay. So, in this way, we have to represent the given negative decimal floating point number using IEEE 754 double precision format. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Dibbela Srinivasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, Click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. For better understanding, please refer the previous videos. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.